the individual women's bronze medal match, and this will pit an Italian against an Iranian. It'll be Laura Longo against Parshamir Mahdab as they take to the field. And the camera's clicking away here to capture these moments. Special moment. And there is Laura Longo from Italy who defeated Christy Collin by two and lost to Erica Anschutz by two. That's why she's in the bronze medal match right now. You see that nervous smile on her face. She'd like to get started, I'm sure, as would her coach. And, of course, from Iran, it is Parshamir Mahdab who won her quarterfinal match by five, then lost in the semis to Marcella Tonioli by one point. Now, she had a dominating performance in Turkey. It was super windy, and she just stepped out there and was almost flawless in the wind. I mean, for the conditions we had out there, she got out there and just shot some amazing scores. So this could be a really good match. We have two strong shooters here. Mahtav had a strong showing here in Ogden this week. Her women's team finished seventh, and she personally took fifth in the mixed team event. As you said, she won the silver medal on uh, the Iranian women's team in Torino. Very strong performance over there, and individually she won the second stage in Turkey. You mentioned that, and took a silver medal in Turkey last year in a team event. So Mahtab will be a formidable challenger for Laura Longo, who is on the left shooting at target number one. But it is Mahtab on the right shooting at target number two, who will get things started with a nine. Just out of the tendering, that was a good first shot. Now Ms. Longo. It's a 10. Just on the line there, outside looking in, as we like to say. Football's got nothing on archery. This <laughs> is really a, a game of millimeters. And I think your measurements are more precise. On character, eight on the seven line out there to the left for her. Now, for the average Joe, an eight would be great. I'd be celebrating right now. <laughs> but when you're in this sport, almost anything less than a 10 is almost unacceptable. Yeah, especially in conditions like this. I mean, the wind is still almost perfectly calm here. There's a slight breeze, but not really enough to blow arrows around anything, just a little bit to move you, but still really good. So not exactly the auspicious start that Parshamir Mahtab was looking for. Nope, and 25 to a 30 after the first three arrows, and this isn't the set system, so that's a five-point lead that she's going to have to come back from, and, you know, Longo shooting good and off to the first three arrows, so it could be hard to come back from that. You prefer the set system, don't you, yourself? Ooh, that's a tough question. Um... I don't know. There's good things and bad things to each of them. The... The set system lets you have a bad arrow and come back from a match, but there's still, you could shoot a higher score than the other person and still lose the match, but it's just the way the thing is now. It's a little bit, it's more exciting, I think, to watch because now each three arrows is its own little match. You can get excited because you want to set instead of being, all right, three arrows, now I still have nine more arrows to shoot before I win. So I think there's good and bads to so both. So advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, but I... I think I have done better in the set system than I did in the 12 arrow matches. So uh, off that bias opinion, I do like it better. <laughs> Whatever works for you, right? Yeah. Parshamir with a nine. nine. And all of her arrows are low left, so hopefully she'll make a side adjustment to get back into the 10 ring. Longo, who got off to that great start in the first end. Shoots a nine just out low, and she knew it was going to be there. You could see her shaking her head. And there's a 10. So hopefully starting to get things figured out now. Longo had them figured out in the first end with three straight 10s. And a 10. And gets another 10. So out of her five shots, she's left one point you know, out there. It's a very good start. 
And it puts more pressure and another on Parshamir. Yeah. And there's a 10. Another 10. So great concentration by Longo. Yeah. When you take a lead like that, you almost have to forget about anybody else who's out there shooting and just focus on that target and what you're doing. And even though you have that cushion, not think about that at all? Yeah, it, it is like that. I mean, well, if you get a lead like that, you know that you're probably going to win the match, but you can't think about that in there because you don't want to make a mistake. And a lot of times what happens when you get that big of a lead is uh, you might relax a little bit. You might drop a couple of points here, a couple of points here, not really be paying attention, and you let the other person back in there. So you still have to keep focus and keep some pressure on, keep trying to shoot tens and really not give any slack, just try to keep getting a bigger lead and bigger lead to guarantee you that you win a medal. Parshamir right now with 44 points, 59 points for Laura Longo, so a 15-point difference between the two. And right now, I would think Parshamir has to fight off the frustration and the feeling as though this one is over. She's got to continue to try. Gets it into the nine. Just out to the left, and you can see that all of her arrows on the left. She has one that's almost on the right side of the spider, but still hanging on that left-hand side. And that's okay. going to be close. The spotters are calling it a 10, so we'll try to believe them. With Longo in the background, Parshamir. It's another nine just out on the left-hand side. And so far in a match where you can't miss, Parshamir has only had one 10. We're in the third end right now, and there is a nine by Longo. He's got a few points to play with. Alternating back and forth. And there's a 10. Little bit of a relief right there as she goes back to talk with her coach. Longo with her third arrow. And is an eight out to the left. So there might be some, well, as we look out, we can see a little bit of wind picking up. So it could be starting to push them to the left and they're just not quite feeling it. And the wind is blowing them a little bit. A little bit more of a gentle wind than we saw last night during the recurve competition. And still a lot of daylight here. The twilight hours here along the Wasatch Front in Ogden, Utah, which played host to the 2002 Winter Olympic Games. Just over those mountains, the downhill event took place at Snow Basin. Of course, a couple of other great ski resorts up there as well, Powder Mountain, Wolf Mountain. Great skiing out in this area. Yeah, and actually, I mean, we've had a couple of storms come in, but not while we're shooting, which has been great. And uh, we went down to the Hoyt and the Easton factory for a tour the other day, and there was snow on the mountains right above Salt Lake. So very beautiful, beautiful place that we're able to come shoot in here. A lot of snow this past winter here along the Wasatch Front, which is why we're still able to water our lawns, <laughs> unlike our friends down in Texas and Oklahoma. There's a 10, almost dead solid, perfect. Going in to this end here, Longo had a six-point lead. Now to five. A lot of ground to be made up by Parshmere. But you can see the concentration on her face. She's not going to give up in this match. She still has quite a few arrows to shoot, so. Nine, just out. Nine right there. Back to Laura Longo. Ten. And there's another 10. She's shooting very well right now. Longo, a silver medalist with her mixed team at the second stage in Turkey. Picked up a bronze medal as well in the individual competition at the first stage in Croatia this year. Ten. And there's, and there's another 10. Nice 10, nice way to finish it off. Shooting at 29 that end, you can see that she's wanting to come back. But this match belongs to Laura Longo already. Not much drama, not much suspense. She finishes it off with a nine. So, Pashmir got one point back that end, but with only three arrows left, a five point deficit, it's gonna be kind of hard to come back from. Tough to come back from, absolutely. Five ends, three arrows. And right now, 
It is Laura Longo with 114 points to 109 for Mahtab Parshamir. At this point, how much of an adjustment can be made? Um, I mean, you could look at her target and she still has all but one arrow, I think, or two arrows on that right hand side. So she can move her side or try to pay attention to the win. So she shoots three tens here, but it is a little late in the game. And it's easy to overcompensate, isn't it, Brady? Yeah, it is, you, especially when you're behind, confidence goes away a little bit and you start over adjusting and you'll miss one out the other side. There's a 10. And there's a 10. Actually, her, her first there on the right side and it's just barely on the right. Iran already does have a medal tonight. The men's team picking that up in a great and match with France. Slider. That's a great shot right there to start off this fifth end and only two more arrows to go. Parshamir. Another 10. Trying to put some pressure on, but Longo has a five point lead, so. Not probably feeling too much of it, but she is about to win a medal, and there's another 10, so. Mm -hmm. She's staying focused and staying in it. Staying in her space. Almost on the line. But I don't think it's gonna matter. Longo here just needs to shoot a that and she has won the bronze medal. There you go. A bronze medal for Laura Longo from Italy here in the individual women's bronze medal match. And she waves to the crowd. She came a long way and she'll go home with a bronze medal and be on that victory stand. Stick around with us later tonight when we have the medal ceremony here at Lindquist Field in Ogden, Utah. The compound competition here at the third stage of the 2011 Archery World Cup on ESPN3. We hope you're enjoying our coverage here as Longo wins by six points, 133 to 127. So Italy picking up a medal. Thanks to Laura Longo. Who will remember this night here in Ogden, Utah? I'm sure for a long, long, long time to come. So as they leave the field,